100. How's it going everybody? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick and today we're over here at John Wayne International Airport in Santa Ana, California. Uh, it's mid-morning and um, we're going to be taking uh, a flight out to Borman Field in Washington and uh, right now we're taking a look at the runway. We have an American Airlines flight uh, lining up and departing. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, getting closer to fall time, a little, little cloudy out this morning, a little overcast, and, um, we'll be taking the Cessna Citation, the 525A, out there today. Right now, we're over at the General Aviation Gate, uh, taking a look at it, getting ready to go. And this is going to be the route. Um, all up the west coast basically all the way up to Washington uh, right here is where we will be departing out I'm zooming into Santa Ana right now and this will be the channel 2 departure and that will take us um, from Santa Ana out here to Catalina Island and we're going to go back up to um, LAX and then up through central California going up this way uh, near the valley, up through Oregon, and we'll we'll cross with with Portland, and then we'll be uh, coming out this way into our arrival. I don't remember the arrival right now, but we will. Um, I'll have uh, the approach plate later on in the video, but basically just coming in this way, straight in. And yeah, I want to get back down here and I want to talk about um, something at Santa Ana when you're departing at uh, John Wayne International Airport. So right in this area is uh, neighborhoods, and they have very strict noise abatement rules at this airport, some of the strictest in the world, I believe. And uh, these are the noise monitoring stations. They have some in the, in the uh, departure and the arriving side. And uh, you basically get uh, three strikes. Uh, if you have three strikes in three years, you're banned from the airport for three years. So you have to be very careful with the noise, basically um, not using uh, high power on the way out of there. So we're going to be uh, mindful of that. And um, right now we are on the taxi, finally. We are going to go by all the gates, and then we're heading down to runway uh, 20 right. And, uh, yeah, we'll be flying that departure today. This is a Latin VFR airport. Pretty good airport. Had a little issue with it when I first loaded it in. It was my second time, or third time, using this airport. I didn't have the problem the other times, but all it was was uh, one of the BLG files needed to be deleted. Uh, found that out on Google. Basically, it was crashing every time I would load a plane in, so I deleted that file. It worked uh, perfectly. And uh, now I get to do this video. Now, I've done some, some general aviation with a Cessna 172 uh, pattern work around this airport. I have that video on my channel, and I also did a flight from Sacramento into this airport. So, this will be the first time departing in a jet. So, looking forward to that. Okay, right now we are turning on to, I believe it says 20 left, and we're going to cross that runway to 20 right, and we'll be taking off from there. And this is the, the Channel 2 departure plate. Gonna hold short up here for a couple of minutes and then we'll cross onto the next runway. Oh, 
Okay, we are turning on to two zero right. And we're going to line up. Okay, we're having some power right now, and then we're going to let off the brakes. Um, I don't let the, uh, put the power to full. I, I slowly move the power up in this airplane as we go down because this airplane gets very, very, um, I don't know what, what word to use, wobbly. It, it just wants to veer off the runway very easily, very hard to control. So right now I just slowly advance the throttle. I've tried adjusting my um, rudder pedals and everything but I, I shouldn't have to do that for this plane so I gotta figure out why it's doing that but right now I uh, just uh, add power slowly and it uh, see it like right at this point it wants to start veering and then uh, once it picks up a little more speed it, it, it gets under control again but I don't know it's it doesn't seem like it should be that way so gotta look into the why that happens but we're getting straightened out now and we're getting close to rotating lift and positive rate so the gear is going up too, too low gear too low too low and we're gonna cut the throttle back until we get out to the coast Now, right now, about at this point, I, I fly this plane about once a month, and I want to start flying it more. I'm trying to study up on it a lot more. I've already caught some mistakes I made in this video, and uh, hopefully pretty soon I'll be proficient at this plane. I think my next flight I want to do is a uh, night flight. I haven't done a night flight in a little while, and I don't think I've ever done a night flight in this plane, so I'll do that. Learn from a few of my mistakes. Yeah, just right now, going through the manual and, and reading everything. Fun plane to fly. One of the easiest planes to hand fly that I've ever used. So you won't have any problem with that. Lands beautifully once you get the hang of the flare. Uh, it's just on the ground when you're taking off. That's the uh, only quirk I, I think there is right now. Try to find some other guys in the community who fly this and see what their settings are, what they do about that. Alright, this is a few seconds behind here. This is a, in the back of the plane. I'm going to peek out the window at the land and the ocean. And we're back in the cockpit. We are at Catalina Island and we're about to make the right hand turn back to California over to LAX. Now if you ever wondered what the clouds look like with just Active Sky 16 running, this is it. I am not using Rex at the moment. I uninstalled it and uh, reinstalled it, so the clouds you're seeing throughout this video are just Active Sky, no cloud software, no cloud art at all. This is what that looks like. It's not too bad, but I got Rex fixed and it's working again. Another little little issue. Uh, it wasn't working from the desktop when I would add the textures. I would get an error, but if I loaded the EXE from the uh, main folder, then it would work fine. So that's another workaround. And uh, there's California again as we're making the turn. A 
pretty nice day once we got out of Santa Ana and got out of that overcast. Flight time today should be about two and a half hours. Two hours and forty minutes. Back in California right now. Look down there at all the farm life. And the mountains. Such a fun plane to fly. That's why I want to get pretty good at this plane. I, I think I want to keep flying it for a while. A while back, I was looking for a good corporate jet, and I just really liked this one. Yeah, we're up in, uh, actually up in Washington right now, and we're going to be uh, turning into into the uh, to the airport up there. Just descending through the clouds right now. This will be the arrival we'll be uh, flying today. It's the RNAV into runway 6. Now, right here, um, Shadow Play quit filming for some reason, but the plane, right before the turn, uh, started making a U-turn, and I, I thought I thought maybe it was making the turn early, but it kept going around, so this is me getting it back on course. Um, uh, coincidentally, yeah, like I said, Shadow Play quit recording at some point after that. I just happened to look over at the... Uh, folder I play on my second monitor and I noticed it wasn't recording anymore so luckily I caught that and didn't miss this landing so we're back on course now and we're descending towards the runway right now I'm going to hand fly the rest of the way no autopilot because I don't trust the autopilot at the moment but you know that is kind of a real life thing I've listened to airline pilots talk about the autopilot sometimes and it uh, from time to time it'll just do something really weird and that's the the classic phrases uh, now what is it doing and that was one of those moments where it just did something uh, probably user error probably something I did but uh, we were just flying along when it decided to make that turn I didn't hit any buttons or anything I don't so I don't know 
what it was going for. Maybe it was tracking a VOR behind us or something happened. Uh, can't quite see the runway yet. Um, see the lights now. The uh, Pappy lights and we are going to head down towards there. This is a freeware airport that you can get um, by Warbax. If you don't have many sceneries in your library, just head over to Warbax. They have a, a lot of free ones that you can check out. And uh, this is one of them. This is a great airport. I believe it's the only airport in Washington on the coast that can uh, you can fly a jet into. So if you're interested in that, you might want to get this one. A little high on the glide slope at the minute, but I would rather be high than low when it comes to flying over water like this. One thousand. And we'll get on the on the slope in just a second. Okay, we have that. Just gonna bring it in nice and easy. Four hundred. Three hundred. Minimum two hundred. Oh, look at these birds. Ah. Whoa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a near bird strike or a bird strike, one or the other, I don't know. But uh, we got to land this thing. Floating it just a little bit. Yeah, we're cutting it close here. We're down and it start breaking. We'll be able to make it, but that was kind of close. Wow, that was interesting. Funny that happened, I just saw the movie Sully the other day. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Never had that happen. I mean, there's no simulated bird strikes in Prepare 3D, but that's the the closest you'll get to it is is that no damage to the plane will happen or anything. All right, great. That worked out. Can turn off here. Check out the replays. Isn't this such a cool plane? I love this plane. Got to do a lot more flights with it. You know, there's some planes that I really want to study. Like, when I really like a plane, I just really want to understand everything it does. And uh, this is going to be one of those planes. Oh, I guess it, you know, the animation wasn't in there. The birds. That's okay, though. So here we are coming around the right side of the plane, floating it for days, getting a little flare in there. I wanted to get a really nice touchdown, so I held on to it for a while. Another angle from the left side this time. Beautiful touchdown. And back to taxiing at the airport.
And we're going to find a spot to park this thing. It's going to hold here just a minute while I figure out where we're going. And I think we're going to go over to the left. Uh, yeah, we don't want to go straight. We want to go left. Okay, let's get going. Let's get out of the way here. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, that was um, another fun flight to do. Um, just having a blast doing this stuff. Um, just got close to 500 subscribers. Someone hit that milestone this week. Um, thank you guys for watching these videos. Uh, I hope you like them. And, you know, I'll see you on the next video. We're going to keep doing these. We'll be quitting. All right, guys, you take care. See you later.